Hello Gillsborough and welcome to our Friday Celebration Worship Assembly. The candle is lit because we know that Jesus is the light of the world and that God is all around us. Okay, it's Friday the 29th of January today, so we've come to the end of the month nearly. Well, I've got something that I've been very excited to tell you. I had an email this week that explained that we are going to be getting our new bike sheds built in our front playground. Now I know at the start of this academic year, the school council discussed what they thought would make our school even better. And the first thing on the list was to build a bike shed or shelter where children could put all of their bikes and scooters if they came to school on them to be extra healthy and to keep them safe. Well, we raised money with our mascot competition. We raised over £50, which was fantastic. Well done, everybody that entered. But £50, unfortunately, was not enough to get us a bike shelter. So we were very lucky because Mr Nick, our PTA, our head boy, head girl, our school council and our eco-warriors put a bid forward to the Wilson Foundation asking if they could support us and give us a little bit more money to help us to get our bike sheds. Well, I had the email and it said, congratulations, we are going to offer you the money from the Wilson Foundation. So, very excited to tell you we have now ordered our new bike shelter and it should be going up soon. I'm hoping it will be up when you are all back at school. Well, that made my week and I'm so looking forward to seeing you all come to school on your scooters or your bikes so that we can put them in the bike shelter and keep them safe. Right, I'm going to start the assembly this week with our Gillsborough Gallery because again, you have been doing some phenomenal work and I like to go in and have a look at everything you've done but the teachers also send me your work. So sit back Enjoy all of the work that you have been producing this week.
such brilliant pieces of work. Maths, English, art, PE, everything. I am so impressed with you all. Well done, children. Okay, I am now going to read a story. And the story is called The Two Houses. It's a story from the Bible. I need you to listen very, very carefully. Some really good messages in this story. The Two Houses. Jesus was telling a story. Everyone was listening. They were out on the hillside close to the lake. Once upon a time, there were two men. One man said, I want to build a house. I'll build it on the rock. That's a good, safe place. So he dug and dug down to the rock and he built his house there. Then the rain fell and the wind blew and the floods came, but his house stood safe on the rock. If you listen to me and do as I say, Jesus said, you are like that man. The other man said, I want to build a house. I'll build it on the sand where it's easy to dig. His house was soon built. Then the rain fell and the wind blew and the floods came and his house fell down with a crash. If you listen to me, but forget what I say, Jesus said, you are like that man. Jesus's special friends sat close as he told them the secrets of God's kingdom. God blesses the people who know that they need him. They belong to God's kingdom. God blesses those who are sad. He will comfort them. God blesses those who want to do right. He will give them what they want. God blesses those who mend quarrels. They will be called God's children because they are like him. Long ago, Jesus said, God told his people the best way to live. This is what you must do. Love your enemies, not just your friends. Be kind to everyone and share. Be as nice to other people as you want them to be to you. For God takes care of everyone, nice and nasty, good and bad. The hot sun shone on the blue lake. The wild flowers in the grass glowed bright as jewels. Birds hopped close, hopping for crumbs. But the grown-ups were worried. They didn't have much money. What are we going to eat? The children are hungry. And what are we going to wear? Our clothes are worn out. They couldn't stop worrying. There's no need to worry, Jesus said to them. Just look around you. God gives the birds their food and see those beautiful flowers. Could anyone have more beautiful clothes? If God looks after the birds and the flowers, he's sure to look after you. You matter so much more to him. Forget your worries, love God and do as he wants and God will give you what you really need. I hope you enjoyed that, children. Now, those very important messages in the Bible story. Okay, the first one was love everybody, not just your friends. Very important. Be kind to everybody and share. Hugely important. Be as nice to others as you want them to be to you. And for, for God, will take care of everybody. That's everybody. So some really important messages there. I hope you listened really carefully. So we're going to reflect now. And although we're still in lockdown, Katie has been working hard at home and she has been posting her prayers to me because she is our Bishop Award winner. And uh, I want you to listen careful for this prayer, which is perseverance based, because that is our value this half term. If you would like to make this your prayer, then say Amen at the end.
Dear Lord, sometimes it's hard to keep trying. It's hard when things are tough or when everything seems to be going wrong. Please help us never to give up but always to persevere. Please help us to be people who encourage others to keep trying as we all aim for different goals in life. Thank you for never giving up on us. Amen. Thank you, Katie. Beautifully read. OK, we're coming to the end of our assembly now. So, to finish off our assembly, I want to say a special, special thank you to those people who helped us to get our funding for our bike shelter. So, Ben B, Megan, Chloe, our eco-warrior, Mr Nick, Polly from our PTA and all of our Gillsborough community. Thank you so much. We are very, very, very grateful for the effort that you put in. Okay, we're now going to sing a song. If you can, if you're at home, you can sing, you can do the actions. If you're in a larger group, then just do the actions with Reverend Nat. Enjoy, let off some steam and have a lovely, lovely weekend. So I'm going to blow the candle out and I'm going to say the Lord be with you. God bless everybody and I will see you all next week. Take care. Now our song today is a song about whatever the weather, God is with us, helping us uh, through our storms in our life and loves us. It's my lighthouse. So if you're watching this at home, you can sing and do the actions. But if you're in school, remember, no singing, but you can do the actions and join in with my lighthouse. In my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my trouble sea. You are the peace in my trouble sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In my questions, your trust will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. You carry me safe to shore Oh